Well, welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. This video here is going to be on this spring box. I kind of touched basically over it. We're going to show you a couple of different things I like to do. Of course, now it's been running all night. We're here at the mud hole. I slipped and tripped and fell. Had one good fall yesterday, anyhow. At least it wasn't on camera. But anyhow, we got the water coming in. And if you could really see in there, I might try to disconnect that hose. There's a pile of sediment in the back end of that tank. I'm going to show you something I like to do to all of them. We're going to get rid of the outflow pipe, put a filter on it. So let me see if I can disconnect this thing and show you what I mean. Well, I don't know if this camera's going to quite show it up. Yeah, you might see it right there. All this dirt whole bottom of this thing right here got kind of dirty last night from the sediment and whatnot coming in so this right here is what I like to do I just took out the regular upright and we just take a one inch to three quarter three quarter 90 and all you do is build a new stand pipe with holes in it and of course this thing right here will fit in here and then you just take a standard sediment filter you can buy it Lowe's because the hole inside that thing is three quarters of an inch in diameter and that thing fits right over top of it so hopefully doing this all your sediment gets trapped in the spring box before it'll ever go in your cistern tank you know, kind of pre-filter it and all you have to do is come down here every couple months or whatever slide this filter off put another one on take this one up hose it off let it dry and come back down in a month or so and stick it back on but they're fairly cheap I like about 12 14 bucks for two three of them in a pack you can get them hardware stores Lowe's anywhere Let's continue on with the project. Well, here it is. We have the line in. It's functioning. We have two outflow lines. One of them is just the uh, overflow. Our line right here goes up, goes into the tank. The tank is full. This is the outflow line from the tank. And we just put this little trough down there. Being the wildlife used to come to this spring to drink, we just gave them a, a drink bowl. But what I want to do is show you. I can get over here. Right there's the spring. And you can kind of, if you can see it, that sediment right there, that's what's in the tank. But we put this in yesterday afternoon. And it's hard to tell, but there's a fair amount of sediment right there. Now this will settle down a good bit when the uh, spring gets to what they call develop. Once everything settles back in the spring and you're not getting that much dirt, but all the dirt and sediment in that tank and everything that filter's taken out doesn't end up in this tank. And then this tank will have a 12 or 48 volt submersible uh, deep well pump, a solar pump, and it'll leave on this hose right here, which will get plugged in right there. And it goes all the way back up the house. It's got to be trenched down. But then this will go to the house to fill the water cistern in the basement. So we're going to show that to you, but this end of it down here is pretty much done. Looks good. Everything's working. And, uh, 250 gallon tank. It does 2,200 gallons. So five and a half, six hours. It was full overflowing in five hours or so. And, uh, the owner's happy. It's drinkable water. Like I said, he had it tested. So we're going to head up in the basement and kind of show you how all that will go. 
Well, here we are in the basement. And let me explain this to you. He's got a 305 gallon storage tank right here and a recharge pump to pump everything up into the house. But let me go over this whole thing for you. Basically, the water will come in this PEX line here from the spring, from the solar powered pump. It'll come down through this sediment filter, which has a drain on the bottom so it can be back flushed, take all the dirt out of it. It can be washed and cleaned. Then the line will come down here, pour in the top of the tank, and there is a, there'll be a sensor here hanging down in the tank that when the water level comes up to that part, the solar pump down the bottom of the hill will shut off. And that fills the tank. That's what it does. Then, coming out of the bottom of the tank, it'll come up into this recharge pump, and it basically will just run it up to 50 pound of pressure. And then it will come up this PEX line here, and it'll go through a five micron filter, then through a 20 micron filter, and then it'll go up here, and this is a UV ultraviolet light that'll sanitize all the water, and then go into the house. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, I think it's five filters or strainers in this line to take any sediment out and any or anything else that's in the water. But he has had it tested. Everything's good. So this is just precautionary type stuff. And like I said, it, it'll leave the UV light. And this whole house has an electric on-demand hot water heater because this whole place is off-grid. And um, there's no propane in this house, not a cook stove. This cook stove's induction top. It's all electric and it's all powered. You can watch the next video. They got 4,800 watts of solar and about a 5kW battery system over here. And a big solar converter charge controller. But I hope you liked it. Hope this thing answers some questions. If I can be of any help, help you work on a spring, help you maybe guide it. I'll need some pictures or videos. Maybe I can help you just over, over the phone or online. If I can be of any help to you, don't hesitate to contact me. It's kind of what I do. If you need me to come out, I do have fees. I will come out to your property and do the work. But as usual, like it, share it, subscribe. We're almost at 2,000. We might be. I'm off grid up here, so we might have hit that number. And I'll see you the next time. Thank you for watching.